Hello and welcome to another episode of Being Free From Mental Lockdown. I wonder if you watch Dan's and Tanisha's. They're both very good. Highly recommend. Well, my name is Kerrilee and today I'm going to present another idea that can help us to be free from mental lockdown. Now, to be honest, this has been the best lockdown yet for me since I made the switch. And what was that? Well, it was actually really simple. It's actually taking one day at a time. So this is nothing new, I realise that, nothing new, but when I took it on board really and truly and thought, okay, one day, it has made such a difference. And also taking it from the spiritual perspective or the relationships perspective with my Father in heaven. You know, when Jesus taught the disciples to pray, he said, give us this day our daily bread. Now, I like to interpret that as give us today what we physical, physically need. Give us today what we materially need. Give us today what we need emotionally. Give us today what we need spiritually. Meet our needs today was the prayer request that Jesus taught us to ask of our Father. Give us today what we need for today. And tomorrow we pray the same prayer. You know, there's a story in the Bible in the Old Testament is actually found in Exodus 13 and it is the story of the children of Israel when they were in the wilderness and they needed food so God provided manna for them every day I know this story is not going to be new for you but it's, it's a powerful story it has a really powerful image to reinforce this fact every day they had to collect manna and that was enough for what they would eat that day. And the next day, they would collect manna again and for enough what they would eat that day. And so on. Now, if you're a person who thought, oh look, you know, I am actually just gonna take some for tomorrow as well, because I think I might wanna have a sleep in tomorrow. So I'm gonna take some extra. Wasn't a good idea. What happened? Well, it started to go off and stink. The Bible says even worms started to grow in that manner Now that's a really really gross image but it's a powerful image because it also tells us more about this one day at a time God has said I will provide for your needs today and back going back to Matthew 6 where we find the Lord's Prayer in 634 Jesus also says do not worry about tomorrow today has enough in it for you so do not worry and then I'm thinking of another verse, in Lamentations 3, 22 and 23 says that God's mercies are new every morning. Every morning. So we don't get them for the week. We don't get them for the month. Every single morning, God's mercies are new for me. So this idea of one day at a time has really changed me. One day at a time in relationship to my Heavenly Father. Because I can wake up and say, Lord, thank you. Thank you that your mercy is in you every morning. Thank you that I can ask to have my needs met today and you will meet those needs. And thank you that I can, I can enjoy this day without thought of tomorrow or the future. Because you're going to provide for me today. So it's really about the relationship that you can develop with your Heavenly Father. You know, I'm recording on Wednesday the 15th of September. I think Dan is speaking to us tomorrow, Premier Dan, and on Sunday. So look, I don't know what's going to be said as far as coming out of lockdown, but this is what I do know. God knows. And the other thing that I do know is that if I develop this attitude of one day at a time I can even take that into post lockdown and have a better day I can even take that into that holiday that I've been dreaming about 
this one day at a time. God, you're going to provide for me today. Thank you that you're going to provide for me today. Thank you that you'll meet my needs today. So, look, I just would like to encourage you to reflect on those stories. It's Exodus 13, Matthew 6, if you want, and Lamentations 3, if you want to look at those Bible references again. But just reflect on that and what God says in His Word about actually taking one day at a time and His promise to care for us, provide for us each day. And so that when you wake up tomorrow, Go on the journey of relationship with him and say, thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you that you're going to provide for me today. And I look forward to seeing what you're going to give to me today. So, yeah, I encourage you with this. I know it has helped, really helped me rather than looking to the future. It's like, okay, today God has promised and he will be enough for me today. So God bless everyone. And I look forward to seeing you whenever that will be.